I recently interviewed for a team lead job, but wasn't selected because I don't have leadership experience. How can I lead when I'm not in charge? Well, you're in charge of something. Yeah. You're certainly in charge of something. You're in charge of some piece of gear. You're in charge of some task. You're in charge of maybe a couple people here or there, but even if you're not, you're in charge of something. So whatever you're in charge of, take charge of it. Take charge of whatever your task is, you take charge of it, you own it, you do it to perfection, and once you've got that completely dialed, then you know what, you reach out and you see who else you can help. You help with other tasks, you look for work. If you look for work, you're gonna find it. Right? You're gonna find it. You're gonna find it, you're gonna start taking things from other people. Now what you have to be careful of is that you don't step on toes, right? Because just about everyone, think about this, just about everyone is offended by someone that wants to be in charge. Oh, yeah. right? Hey, uh, let me let me, let me, me take charge of this here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Just that right there <laughs> makes people cringe. I'm gonna take lead on this. Yeah, look, look, oh, you know what, uh, hey, listen up guys, right? <laughs> the, if you're that guy, then everyone goes, hmm. Now, there's a key point to this, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So let's say we're in a platoon, there's something going on, I'm in a mid-grade position, and I realize like I want to be a leader, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if I just go in and go, hey guys, let me run this next mission. People are like, dude, what do you know? What are you talking about? You don't know anything. Mm. Okay. And they're, and they're kind of dug in against me, by the way, at that point. Uh, yeah. If I give it enough, if I let things escalate a little bit, what I would usually do is I would, I would let things escalate to a point to where when I took charge, people were waiting for it and they were happy that I took charge. Then that even when I was even when I was tasking a commander, like if you're tasking a commander, okay, so I got Leif and Stoner working for me. Mm -hmm. I'm tasking a commander, we're out on an operation. Something starts going wrong. Right? Let's say Leif's doing a building clearance with his platoon. Something starts going wrong. I jump down there and say, All right, guys, push over that way, start clearing that hallway. How does Leif feel? Yeah, kind of yeah. Phased. He feels like I jumped down and micromanaged yeah. his platoon and why are you doing this? Everything was going fine. So I don't want to do that. I want, first of all, I want him to work things out, of course. So what, let's say, same thing's happening. Things are going a little bit bad. There's starting to be a little bit of confusion. There's starting to be escalated voices. There's starting to people be, you know, hey, wait, wait, no, don't go there. You can hear it. It's really obvious when things are going wrong. Mm. I might let that escalate a little bit. Mm. Let it get to a point where Leif knows he doesn't have control of this anymore. Now I come down and go, hey, everyone, lock it up. You four, hold on that hallway. You two, start clearing that back room. Everyone else, get to the rooftop and hold security. You know what everyone thinks, including Leif? They go, oh, thank God that just yeah. happened, <laughs> right? Now, and that can happen from anywhere in the chain of command. I'm happy, I happen to be given an example of when I was the task unit commander, but I would do the same thing when I was a, an E5, which is, oh, things are going a little bit sideways. No one wants to hear the guy that as soon as the opportunity, as soon as there's any void of leadership, you're just like jumping in there like, yeah. okay guys, Captain America to the rescue, <laughs> right? Sure. You don't want to do that. You want to let that void, I'll tell you what happens. If there's a little tiny void that you try and jump into, guess what you're going to do? You're going to bump into everyone else that's, that's in that void. Mm. It has to be an actual void of leadership. Mm. Once that actual void of leadership opens up and it's big enough, you jump in there. And you, and because you've detached, because you are detached, because you're watching it happen, mm -hmm. you jump in there and you have so much confidence in what you're saying. You have so much understanding of the situation. You look like a genius and everyone's happy that you just did that. Mm -hmm. And by the way, as soon as that problem gets solved, you step back out, the leadership void is closed up by someone else and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And next time, people, people will not be surprised at all when something goes wrong and you step in and you've solved the problem. Yeah. So that's what you should do. You yes, you want to be in charge. Yes, you should look for work, but you can't step on toes. Don't jump in every time chance you get, like Captain America. Yeah. I'm gonna save the day. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let there be a real problem. Assess it from the outside. And like I said, you got to be careful about being Captain America. You got to be careful about being. I'm gonna. I'm ready to stand up every moment. And that, that's a problem. You know, it's a problem when someone when someone's goal. This is gonna sound weird. When someone's goal is to be a leader, right? like my goal is to be a leader, like mm -hmm. if that's what they're thinking, that's gonna, that's gonna offend people. Mm -hmm. It's gonna offend people. Cause, and I'll tell you why it offends people, it's rightfully so. You know why it offends people? Because what is it about? Themself. It's about me. Yeah. I wanna be a leader. I, me, me want to lead. That's yeah. what it's about. And everyone recognize that. If what you really wanna do 
is you want the team to win. And you realize that sometimes you're gonna be in a supporting role and sometimes there might be a situation where you need to lead almost hesitantly, you know what, leadership needs to happen, I'll go make it happen because the team needs it to win. I'm here for the team. So don't be the person about yourself. Right. We don't like that person. I don't even like that person. As much as I love people that wanna step up and lead, I don't want that person that's yeah. like looking for themselves. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta be following. I want someone that's like, hey, oh cool, I got your back, don't worry about it. I'm, mm. I'm over here, I'm over here part of the train. I'm over here clearing rooms. Oh wait a second, there's a leadership void? And now there's an actual problem going on? Oh, and then that person suddenly steps up and solves the problem and then goes right back down to their level? Yeah. Awesome. That's the person you want, and that's the person you want to be. Yeah, yeah. you know how, like, nowadays, well, I hear it a lot nowadays where if you add value, you just want to add value. So that's essentially what you're doing. If you're not in a leadership situation, it's like, boom, I'm going to add value. So one, okay, if I'm going to start with my own role, you know, that's where I'm going to add the most value, my own role. But if there's little voids in whatever capacity that needs some value added, I'm gonna go ahead and add that value. But you can't just be piling on the value where it's not needed. You no, know, don't you don't know? don't pour additional value <laughs> no, man. into non value needing areas. <laughs> exactly right. That's it's problematic. Too, too much value. It's true.